If you wished there was a research writer that you could actually give specific prompts for how it fixes your writing or how it suggests writing, I want to introduce you to a new feature that was added to Yomu AI. So this is Yomu AI, and if you're interested, I'll have links and discount codes in the description below. What I wanna share with you today is their new feature that they've added in, which is Ask Yomu AI. So for this, I'm actually going to have it write a cover letter for a journal article for me. So I'm gonna say this is cover letter for a systematic review. And what I can do is if I click these six icons right here, and you can do it when you highlight text as well, and I'll show you that in a minute, I can say use AI, and I can say ask Yomu AI. And when I do that, it gives me an actual prompt box that I can ask it, just like if I was in ChatGPT or any other chatbot, I can do that. So this allows me to go away from only what Yomu has integrated in as their specific buttons, but to be able to ask in the way that I want to. So I'm going to ask it to write a cover letter. Okay, so I'm basically saying, please write a cover letter for a review article submitted to the International Journal of Sports and Nutrition, this article is about how caffeine affects performance of power lifters long-term. And so then I can press ask. So you can see it generates the cover letter and I'm gonna go ahead and have it replace original. There was nothing there originally, so it's fine to do that. Or if I wanted to, I could insert it below. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it replace the original. So this is the cover letter that it gives me. It gives me the general kind of initial part of it. So your name, email address, state, all of that. It went ahead and input in it some of the journal information that I gave it. And then it says, dear editorial board, you would probably change that with the specific editor. Obviously I didn't give the uh, you'll move that information. So let's go through this. It says, I'm pleased to submit our review article entitled Long-Term Effects of Caffeine on Powerlifting Performance, a systematic review. Obviously it generated that title. That's not a bad title for what we're doing anyways. So for consideration in the International Journal of Sports and Nutrition, that is the journal I gave it. So it's including that in there. This article synthesizes existing literature on the implications of caffeine consumption for powerlifters, focusing on its performance enhancing effects over an extended period. So yeah, that makes sense. So this is going into significance and background information, which is what I would, which is exactly what I would do. So caffeine is one of the most commonly used commonly consumed ergogenic aids among athletes, and its role in enhancing performance has been extensively studied. However, there's been limited research specifically addressing the long-term effects on caffeine on powerlifting, a discipline that requires not only physical strength, but also strategic energy management. Our review critically examines various studies that explore the physiological and psychological impacts of caffeine on powerlifters, aiming to provide a comprehensive overview that could inform both practitioners and researchers in the field. This is actually a really good, like significant selling, but it's also very like scientific. It's including background information. Obviously, if my study didn't do this, I would remove out anything my study didn't do. So like I might not have focused on the psychological impacts but that also might be something that I might want to think about. So overall, I think this paragraph is actually a very good paragraph. We believe that our findings could provide valuable insights into the optimal use of caffeine for power lift powerlifting athletes, contributing to best practices in training regimens and performance enhancement. The systematic nature of our review ensures that we have captured a wide array of studies, allowing us to offer a balanced perspective on this topic. So the one thing that I would do in here is I would probably add in a summary results in there. Understandable that it wouldn't do that just because it doesn't know the results that I generated, so that's fine. That would be something that I would do is add that in. So then the final paragraph is, we confirm that this manuscript is original, has not been published elsewhere, and is not an, under consideration by any other journal. That's always good to include. All the authors have agreed to the submission. There are no conflicts of interest to disclose. Thank you for considering our manuscript for publication. We look forward to your feedback and hope to contribute valuable information to the field. So this, I, I, would, I would fix this. So so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say use Yomu. And there's not a good already example one that I want. So I'm going to use the Ask Yomu II and I'm going to say rephrase this sentence to sound more confident. 
Because especially with this and hope to contribute valuable information, it kind of sounds like we don't know if our paper is going to contribute valuable information. So let's look at what that says. So it says, we eagerly await your feedback and are confident that our work will make a significant. So I like that a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the original there. So again, I really like the ability to be able to type in how I want it to fix it. And let's try in one other place to do that as well. So here, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to say, ask Yomu AI. And I'm going to say, expand on our results from this, where our results show that moderate levels of caffeine increase one rep max strength output on all movements over, let's say, three months. So I'm going to go ahead and have it ask. So you can see that it went ahead and included that first sentence in there still, and then it adds in this information here. So I'm gonna have it replace the original because it included that information. And so it says, we believe that our results, specifically our results demonstrated that moderate levels of caffeine intake significantly enhance one rep max strength output across all powerlifting movements over a three month period. This sustained improvement suggests that powerlifters can effectively incorporate caffeine into their training schedule to maximize strength gains. And so this is also additionally added in here. So it added quite a bit in for the summary of results. So now I'm gonna highlight all of this. I'm gonna go to use AI and I'm gonna use one of the already given commands of shorten. And so this shortened it, it says moderate caffeine intake improves the one rep max. So this sustained improvement suggests that they should in include it. Okay, so I'm going to say keep selection, and then I'm going to remove this. I think that it's getting redundant here, and then go ahead and do that. And so that's overall, I think, a pretty good start to a cover letter. Obviously, I want to change some of this out. I might go in and do a little bit more editing. You can see my Grammarly is popping up here with different things that I might consider changing. But overall, now with this ability, you can have it write a lot more things and a lot different things than just what it was already programmed to do. And it's been trained to write in scientific ways. And so that's something that's really beneficial versus using something like ChatGPT that might not have as good of training in actually being able to write things for research and for science. If you're working on writing your own scientific research paper, I recommend checking out my scientific research paper checklist. I will have that link in the description below. Don't forget to check out the links to Yomu and the discount codes if you're interested in a paid plan. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.